this video and the corresponding document describes and provides rationale for Michigan's MTSS Technical Assistance Center's recommended approach to collecting Acadians reading K6 benchmark screening and progress monitoring data. In the Acadians Reading K6 Essentials Workshop, multiple approaches to collecting benchmark data and the advantages and disadvantages of each approach are outlined. You are encouraged to review Module 10 of the Essentials Workshop before giving consideration to the following recommendation. Essentials Module 10 also provides information on the amount of time required to give each of the Acadians Reading measures. Module 10 details the number of minutes per student per benchmark assessment in each grade at the beginning, middle, and end of the year. This information comes in quite handy as you plan the number of days and the size of the team that you may need to conduct benchmark assessment. Based on our experiences working in multiple schools of varying sizes, the MyMTSS Technical Assistance Center has found that utilizing a school-wide, team-based approach to collecting benchmark data that includes the classroom teacher in some fashion maximizes both the efficiency and the accuracy of benchmark data collection. A team-based approach to testing helps to minimize time lost from instruction. For example, a team of five assessors is typically able to test a classroom of 30 students in under an hour. If the responsibility for benchmark testing falls solely on the classroom teacher, up to five hours of instructional time could be lost or need to be covered by a sub in order to assess 30 students. A team-based approach where testing occurs in a central location, such as the hallway outside the classroom or another space in the building, makes it easier to conduct reliability checks on the administration and scoring. Assessors can take turns shadow scoring each other and completing the Cadence Reading K6 Assessment Accuracy Checklist to give each other feedback. Also, during downtimes when classrooms are transitioning, assessors can swap scoring booklets with each other to check for scoring errors. We have found that a within-classroom approach significantly limits the opportunities for these types of reliability checks. The composition and size of the assessment team varies from school to school. The larger the team, the less time it takes to assess each class. As a reminder, refer to the Cadence K6 Essentials Workshop for additional information on data collection time and team size considerations. Assessment team members must attend the Acadians Reading K6 Essential Workshop, participate in routine refresher sessions, and demonstrate that they are able to accurately administer and score each of the Acadians Reading K6 measures. Having principals and other team leaders involved on the assessment team, especially in the beginning stages, can really increase staff buy-in for the importance of the data and increase team's motivation to ensure accurate data collection. Classroom teachers attended the Cadence Reading K6 Essential Workshop, participated in routine refresher sessions, and demonstrated that they are able to accurately administer and score each of the Cadence measures for their grade level, they can be encouraged to participate on the assessment team. Teachers may choose to handpick a few of their students, for example, a student with an articulation difficulty, or a new student who might be feeling a bit nervous, or randomly select their students, or assess students from another class. Teachers who have not yet been trained or who would prefer not to assess students can be encouraged to find other ways to be involved. For example, observing an assessor, checking for errors in scoring booklets, or supporting data entry. We have found that teacher involvement in benchmark testing in some fashion or another typically leads to increased buy-in and the use of the data. But we have also seen examples in the field where teachers are not involved at all in benchmark testing, yet are highly involved in data interpretation and use, which is the ultimate goal. Acadians Learning provides progress monitoring guidance in a document titled Progress Monitoring with Acadians Reading K6. The following information from that document provides considerations for who should collect progress monitoring data. As a technical assistance center, we support the guidance provided by Acadians Learning and underscore the importance of ensuring that every staff member involved in providing reading instruction to a particular student should be able to easily access and interpret that student's progress monitoring data, regardless of who collected the data.
The decision about which approach to take to benchmark testing is best made at the local level. We provide this recommendation to give you deeper insight into the advantages of a school-wide team-based approach and some disadvantages to the within-classroom approach. Sometimes the approach your school or district first selects is not the one you ultimately land on. When selecting your approach, keep in mind the short-term goal of collecting accurate data and the long-term goal of ensuring teachers use the data to inform their instruction 